Understanding, belong to the group, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating aspect of the English language. Phrases that help us describe relationships and connections. Specifically, we'll explore what it means to belong to the group. This phrase is not just about being part of a collection, it's about identity, connection, and sometimes, the journey of finding where we fit in. So, let's get started and unlock the deeper meanings behind this simple yet profound phrase. Belong to the group is a phrase that combines two key concepts, belong and the group. To belong means to be rightly placed in a particular situation or environment, indicating acceptance or appropriateness. The group, on the other hand, refers to a collection of individuals who share common interests, goals, or characteristics. When we say someone belongs to a group, we're saying they are an accepted part of that collection, sharing in its identity and purpose. Belonging is a fundamental human need. Being part of a group gives us a sense of identity and community. It's not just about being included, it's about feeling connected and valued within that group. This connection can impact our self-esteem, happiness, and even our motivation. Whether it's a family, a sports team, or a group of friends, belonging to a group helps us understand our place in the world. Let's see, belong to the group in action through some examples. Even though I just joined the club, everyone made me feel like I truly belong to the group. The books in this series belong to the group known as classic literature. As a member of the team, you belong to a group that values hard work and dedication. These examples show the phrase being used to express emotional connection, categorization, and identification with a team's values. The concept of belonging can vary significantly across different cultures and contexts. In some cultures, belonging to a group is the foundation of one's identity, while in others, individualism may be more valued. Understanding these nuances is crucial, especially when you're learning English and aiming to use it in diverse settings. Being sensitive to these differences can help you communicate more effectively and respectfully. And that wraps up our exploration of belong to the group. We hope this video has illuminated the depth and breadth of this common phrase, showing you how it's much more than just a way to describe membership. It's about connection, identity, and finding your place in the world. Thank you for joining us today. We believe that learning English opens up a world of possibilities, and we're here to help you navigate this journey. Until next time, keep learning and exploring.